Hi, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyperstamper. Today's junk journal is probably the biggest Christmas journal I'll do um, till the end of the year. I, I have about four or five more Christmas journals coming out, yeah, but this will be the biggest one. Uh, it is seven by 10 and I used an antique book as the base and it's this beautiful green, forest green. And then this postcard is from 1910 and it is just got the most beautiful Christmas flower here. It looks like a thistle and then the white berries. Uh, I covered up the expression because it was in another language that I didn't know what it was and because it was in script. And uh, so I did cover it with antique crochet doily. And then I added this vintage button here, probably from about the 1950s. Really cool, sort of like a little handle. And then I've got this vintage um, doilies here and down the side. And I added this little bracelet that is removable. You can actually wear that, but it was pretty red. So let me show you the inside of this lovely Christmas journal where, as you know, if you follow me, everything in here is antique and vintage ephemera. There's no commercial products, no... Um, no digitals it's all christmas themed every single page and it is pretty packed so let's take a little look here and show you what you get in this one before i put it in my etsy shop this is uh one of my 1940s arborite samples it's a double-sided sample quite rare especially since it's from the 40s and i picked it because it had the red and i'm going to put that in this little pocket made from a 1930s book page and this is a piece of uh, sewing pattern tissue from a vintage pattern and i pulled it because it was red and green this is just a cheesy postcard from the 70s and it is from santa's village and there's santa there in front of his chapel <laughs> so that was pretty funny and the book here is 1953 to 56 these are the original first pages of the book, and this came from a 1920s book. And original first pages of the book was actually an accounting book here. And if somebody who purchased it wanted me to cover that, I certainly can just leave it in the notes I purchase. This is a vintage, beautiful vintage doily here. Really thick and heavy. I love it. And then a Christmas page here from the early 1900s, some vintage wrapping paper from the 50s, which I love. I'm just in love with it. And this is a beautiful early 1900s plate, and it's uh, got the um, Joseph, Mary, and the baby going into uh, Egypt. I made this really cool pocket here out of all my scraps. I thought it kind of looked like the shingles of a roof where Santa would land. Passover feast here, and then up here we've got this wonderful 1950s magazine page, all Christmas themed. Isn't that wonderful? I love it. Really, really cool to see the uh, the decorations of the olden days, back when they did their own crafts. A beautiful uh, early 1900s page here from a school book on how snowflakes are made. This is from a 1950s uh, magazine here, a little Christmas feast, I love it. Winter scene, curly, the uh, curly tops snowed in, that's from an antique book there as well magazine page here with Christmas deer on it and then I chose this a 1923 banknote because it was red and green. Not fun. 1920s book page here. Some little child wrote a page number down here and then this one's called the snowman's ride. It's really quite fun. And then I've got this bingo card here and I chose it because it has 12 and 25 for December 25th. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'll do anything to get a bingo card in a book. <laughs> We've got some dog sleds down here for winter. A Christmas card, perfect page there. Some lovely decorations here. And this is really cool. So, really fun advertisement on this side for girdles. And then this here is um, Angel Face for Christmas advertisement here. Isn't that fun? I love it. And that is from 1957. And then I made this pocket out of some lace here, vintage lace. And over here, another, this is from 1960. Um, through the Gate, my book house series, vintage music sheet. I did some stamping up there at Cardinal. Lovely image here, Birds in the Winter, and the New Year Baby. Isn't that great? Can't forget New Year's. And then this is an antique music sheet. It's Christmas Festival. And I made this into a pocket. And in the pocket here, this is from the 1800s, and it's a Christmas carol up here. Very, very fine print. I put some antique paper on the back and uh, you can journal on there or just keep it and it's got a little bit of support because it's so old and brittle and then another wonderful christmas page here from a storybook and that is probably from that one's from the 1940s another vintage song here 
This is not Christmas, but I didn't cover it because it is such a beautiful plate from 1925, or sorry, 1930. And on the other side is this beautiful Christmas plate here. Look at the colors on that for almost 100 years old. Just the publisher did a really good job in coloring these. This is from a vintage botanical book, and we've got pine trees there, a white pine. And then this is from the 60s, a little Christmas card that never got written in. Isn't that great? So you can use it or just enjoy it. And the original envelope. How cool is that? This is from a vintage recipe book, The Christmas Feast. Another wonderful children's book page. This came from a sweet little uh, Christmas book about a robin at Christmas. And this is really cool from the 30s. A little Christmas note here. Not a postcard, but a note. And um, this one is written by um, uh, Gladys to Edna. Great old names. And then on this side, I made the pocket here out of a little vintage winter storybook page. And then this here is about uh, holiday galas and feasts from the 50s. Oh, I just can't stand it. Every single page is, is Christmas and winter themed. Look at this from 1925, these wonderful snowflake pages. And there's that Christmas uh, robin again with the Christmas trees and toys down here. Wonderful snowman image up here from the Bobsy Twins books. And a little pocket in here that you can stuff anything into and more pine cones there. This is just the cover of a book that didn't quite survive and uh, but I liked it because it had the children sledding so I put that in as a page so you can journal on there and under here Christmas Carol book. Library stamp there, Christmas tale. Oh, I wrote this note so I would know where it came from because it's such a beautiful plate. 1950 from the book Five Little Peppers which a lot of us remember that series. Some student wrote their wonderful little notes on here. And then this is a billiard jar, but on the back side is this wonderful plate from uh, Tobogganing. I love it. It's another magazine page here. And this is an advertisement for spearmint gum, but look, they've got Christmas cookies on here. I don't know what one has to do with the other, but that's how they advertise in the 50s. Old Christmas Carol. Look at this wonderful page here. I love it. So, so love it. Another page here from a 1930s book. And then this here is from the 50s. And it is, wait for it, dishes on one side, 1959, and a calendar for money-saving menus of December on the other. <laughs> so I hope you love this as much as I loved making it. Um, I'm going to put it in my Etsy shop now, hyperstamper.etsy.com, and I hope you'll come back and visit soon. Bye for now.